beautiful angle of the castle. I looked at it from down the bottom here. This is we're behind it at the moment. Really, really nice, doesn't it? Hey guys, you're watching Z1 and Only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Theme Park. Remember a couple of episodes ago, we were playing around with the ideas of using slime blocks to propel ourselves around a ride. And our experiment used a minecart itself uh, that we sat in. Well, I want to do a ride here that doesn't use a minecart, that we just stand still and we get shot around. We get flung around the whole ride. But there is a... There's two things that I want to keep sort of in mind when I build this. Number one is I don't want redstone to be everywhere. I don't want to have redstone littering the, the ride and then have to try and hide it up afterwards. I want to try and keep it as neat and as minimal as possible. Hiding it under the ground, hiding it under other blocks and still making the ride look good. Obviously, at first, yes, we are probably going to end up with... Uh, uh, I need furnaces we're probably going to end up with a, a, a lot of or at least a, a bit of redstone uh visible but hopefully we'll be able to then tune it from there to be able to hide up a lot of the redstone uh the other thing is i don't want the ride to stop i want to have the option to maybe have it on a clock or something so that we get flung around forever it would be really really fun to have like a never-ending slime ride now, we need a control variable because I don't know exactly how accurate these slime blocks are. So what we're going to do is whenever we start the ride, we're going to stand in this corner. As far in this corner as we can go. Because I don't know if if we start here one time, it'll go all the way around. But if we start here, on the next time we play it uh, and ride it, if we'd get stuck somewhere and it wouldn't quite be as flawless. So we're going to build this under the presumption that we always stand in the furthest corner possible. Once we've got that down, we need our second launcher, which is, I think, what was it, three blocks up? Let's just check over here at our old one, because we sort of done our, our first experiments over here, didn't we? So it's uh, one, two, three, fourth one above the slime block. Fourth one above the slime block. Okay, one, two, three which means there would be the slime launcher, like that. Now, to keep the redstone as minimal as possible, we're probably going to want to have uh, vertical redstone, like this. If we use two torches, that's the time delay that we had on the other one. That other one had a delay of, of two ticks uh, after this one went off. So this piston would go ching. Two ticks later, this piston would go, which would launch us forward. From what I can remember, I should probably double check, but that means that we can't have any delay now between this block here and uh, our initial one. Okay, so we just need to use redstone now. Uh, but we need to make sure we point it into the torch. If we don't point it into the torch, it's not going to activate. Uh, we also need this going into there. And then our power our button which for now for now we can put on the ground there that should launch us as long as we're not in fly mode yes wonderful okay so there's the first one now we need to find out where we land which i think do we land on here get okay, right in the corner oh hold on ah uh, why is this Okay, maybe it's a con uh, our control variable is in the wrong place. Oh. oh, hold on. Why isn't that working anymore? We had it. It was. we The, the first time we'd done it. Okay, so our control, we need to be forward on the block. Okay, let's move our control variable to here then, right in the co in this corner instead of the back corner. Hmm. No. What if we we need to stand in the middle at the front of the block? Let's try dead in the middle of the block. Nope. We need to stand at the front. Okay, it should be okay. We should be able to judge that a lot of the time. 
Perfect. Okay, I think we'd probably land on this block. In fact, we could have our next slime block here. Oh, too far forward. Hey, this is a little annoying, isn't it? The minecart gave us a perfect result every time. Because you were stuck in the minecart and the minecart always started in the same position. That could be... We could be okay though. Let's have our next one here. But to keep uh, redstone to a minimal, I don't want to have a tripwire hook here. Because if we have a tripwire hook, that means we then need like the next um, the redstone on each block. And I don't want that. So I want to try... And attempt to run all of the redstone off one line at the beginning. Now, this might cause more lag this way. Uh, but it will also hide up more redstone this way. And that's the sort of thing that I'm willing to, to swap for. So, I'll put a redstone line down here. Now, I'm going to take a guess and say that... Nine ticks of delay before that one fires. At a guess. I wasn't far off. I wasn't far off at all. Did it fire too quickly or too slow? Uh -uh. Oh, this is... It's actually annoying how inconsistent that is. Is there a different way that we could do it? Could we have that like that... And then invert the signal. So it's, it's uh, the st first one is slightly lower. Like. Mm, 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 mm. Now we've got one tick of delay. So I need to put another tick of delay there. Now let's try it. Oh, hold on. Oh no, we need to invert it, don't we? <gasps> this is getting more and more complicated. <laughs> there we go. That's two ticks of delay as well. Perfect. There we go. That seemed to be more consistent. Can we put our variable now? Can I do that? Stand here. I can't there. Oh, I can. I, I did that time. Hold on. Hold on. I need this to be the same every time. Okay. Two. If it works five out of five times, we'll keep it. So that's two out of five. Nope. Not good. Okay, let's try it at the back again. Nope. I don't know what the problem is. Why it's so inconsistent. It might be something to do with lag. That's going too quick. It might be something to do with lag on the world, maybe. Um, no, that's, I, I had it not long enough. I'm going to do it to there. Ugh. Maybe it's to do with lag. I don't know. In fact, maybe doing it this way is actually the wrong way to do it. Because the more redstone we add, the more lag it's going to add to it. In fact, are we even... See, now we're not even flying. Now we are. And that fired too slow now. <sighs> is this concept going to work consistently enough for me to be happy? What if I go up against that? Okay. Okay. Now here. Nope. Not that time. Uh, I don't know if I'm firing too fast or too slow now. I'm getting confused. I need to watch it closer. Okay, that was too slow. Try this one again. Just slightly too fast. Maybe I need to change the position of it. I'm going to work on this a little bit off camera. Oops, I missed the... Uh, <laughs> I wasn't straight. I'm going to try this a little bit more. If I come up with anything, I shall let you guys know, okay? Well, I've tried my best and my best didn't work. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's just not reliable. I've tried all sorts of things. I've got it to work all the way to there once. One single time. I even moved the button from here. It seems to work better from facing sideways. I don't know why. 
there's a lot about this that I don't seem to understand. I've even put barriers up so I can't fly off track. That hasn't helped at all. It definitely works better from here than it does with the button facing forward. There's just so much that doesn't make sense uh, with these. Sometimes it works fine. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. I think there's something to do with redstone lag. But we're going to ignore it then. We're going to leave that idea for this episode. I'm going to let you guys maybe suggest some things in the comment section below about some reasons why you might think. Or maybe you know redstone uh, or uh, slime blocks a lot better than I do. Maybe there's a real simple reason. I don't know. But today I want to play with a uh, another concept idea of a flower farm. So if I bone meal, I'm going to get some water and a block to get rid of this at the end. But if I bone meal the ground, we know that we get flowers. Boop. Okay, we, we all do this. We do this a lot in our building. Now, depending on what biome you're in, it'll depend on what you get. If it, we were in a flower biome, there'd be a good chance that you would get some of the other flowers but here in a normal plains biome in a normal super flat we get long grass yellow flowers red flowers these ones what are they in this texture pack oxy eye daisies and these little snowball ones which are these ones right here as zero brulettes uh, which i call snowdrops and uh they're, they're the four that you get i don't think you get any more of uh, Obviously, if you bow me a long grass, you'll get extra long grass, double high long grass. But you don't seem to get any more. Um, so we can use those as points. Okay, so we're going to have a point game here. And I reckon we can come up with something pretty cool. What we're going to do is get rid of all of that. Beautiful. Pick them up. No, <laughs> I'll leave them there. What we're going to do, right, is we're going to set up a moving floor. Okay, no slime blocks involved, fortunately. Uh, but what we're going to do is uh, is we're going to set up a moving floor here. In fact, we might even be able to not have to make a... Oh, no, you know what? I am going to make it off the floor because if we need some stuff underneath, which I think we will, I'm probably going to want to have some room off the floor. So I'm going to make... How wide is this? One, two, three, four, five. Let's do a five by five area that moves. A moving platform it shuffles forward and oops forward and backwards so we have our oops i tell you what let's do it just easily like that <laughs> why make things hard for ourselves there we go we have one set of of pistons here it don't they don't have to be sticky pistons in fact it would probably be best if they weren't in fairness let's swap those out for for non-sticky pistons normal pistons Ooh, get down Like so. And on this side, we need to have it two blocks back. Because, obviously, the whole area gets shifted forward by one. Okay? So, it's going to go forward and back. Forward and back. Very, very easy to set up. Uh, we can <laughs> do it super, super simple. Just by running redstone over here. And redstone over there. Obviously, we can dress it up in whatever color we want. I'm doing this over by the farm area. Because it's sort of flowers and farms and gardens. All that kind of very similar thing and then what we can do is join these up together and have a delay between the two so if i stick a button on the floor at the moment they both fire at the same time we want this one to fire just after i think i think say so it's still concept idea in my head still concept idea but if i can get a delay well we want a one if we want this really fast, we could put a monostable circuit in here. Uh, doom, doom, doom. Let's do a white block so I know what it is. And then hit and hit and there and there and that. Okay, so we've got a nice monostable circuit here. And now it's just a matter of... There we go. Can I do it on that amount? No. Three ticks on that one. So that fires it back. And then we just need to put this uh, into a clock here. And uh, we could do a very simple clock. In fact, we could have a super quick clock if we wanted. Uh, I don't know if the super quick clock will be too fast. We'll find out. 
So if I do this, put it in subtract mode, and then get a lever. Yeah, that's too quick. We're, we're going way, 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 way too fast. And that's not going to make a difference. So uh, we shall move this back by one. We'll have a repeater here, or at least one repeater there. Have a lever on there. Have that back into there. And now I've got a clock. We should have a clock. <laughs> oh, because it's... Hmm... We should have a a clock here. What, what is going on? Why is everything being so awkward for me today? There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so there's our clock. This might still be a little bit too quick. Nope, it looks good. Okay, so we've got a clock here that shifts the platform forward and backwards. What's so good about this? Well, we can bone meal the ground. Oh, maybe it's going a little bit too quick to bump. We're getting some weird lighting glitches. But as you can see, it's breaking the flowers and leaving them on the floor. And they're clumping up together, which is why it doesn't look like there's all that much there at the moment. It looks like it's going a little bit too quick, though, for the bone meal to keep up. In fact, am I... It looks like a block goes missing, though, when I do that. Can you see that? Like, if I spam it, it works, but... That's better. That's a that's a more controlled speed, right? Um, that's a more controlled speed. So what we need now is a way to pick those up underneath. Now, how can we pick these up underneath? Well, I'm pretty sure a hopper minecart can collect a block through a full block. I'm pretty sure. If I grab that and a normal block and a rail to put this on for now and I put this here I put that on top I put this underneath and I throw that block on there oops I throw this on here yeah it goes choo, choo, choo. I'm fine I'm alive it goes into there so that collects it through a full block a, a normal hopper doesn't if you used a, a normal hopper uh, they only collect through half slabs, I think, and, and, and transparent blocks like stairs and stuff. I don't think that they go through a full block. We shall do a test to make sure. Uh, if I put that there. Oop, let's put it on the edge so I know where it is. And I drop that down. That doesn't pull it in. But if I grab another one of these, and I put a rail there with one of these on top, it sucked it straight in. You guys saw that. So... Let's get rid of our platform for the moment so we can actually get under here nice and easily. What we need to do is we need to have a track set up to keep us going now. We can use powered rails here and normal rails uh, to keep our minecart bouncing around. So let's have well, any block. It doesn't really matter what it is. Here with a powered rail. We might as well keep as much of it powered as we can. And then when we get to the end, we then whip it round. And it comes back this way again. Um, should I put that back one block further? Probably should. Probably should to be safe. So we'll then wrap that around here. Back down this way. Around here. Down this way. Around here. And down this way. So that now covers our entire uh, platform area underneath. We power this. Super, super simple. Uh, redstone block underneath it. We're not going to be able to see it, so we'll put these underneath these five rows. Put those back on. Wonderful. We we get powered rails. Put that block back. No, not that. <laughs> Don't fill it with water. Okay, so a minecart on here now. Uh, once we sort of start it moving, that'll keep going forever. And we should be able to control this and turn this on and off when we want by placing a normal rail there. And that'll come to the end and stop. We can then uh, put a chest or something below here. Can we put a chest below there? Below a rail? How do we suck it out? Another hopper. Yes. We'll use the hopper. I don't think you can put a rail on top of a chest. So I'm pretty sure we need to put a hopper. And for now, just for experimental reasons, this is another experimental episode. I love experimental episodes when new updates come out. 
put that there and then crouch click that on top whenever the uh, hopper minecart stops on here what is whatever's in it will then end up in this chest okay wonderful so then we can turn this on and off very simply with a button or probably a lever would be best actually and this lever will also be hooked up to this clock at the back here so we can move that clock to the front if we wanted and that'll keep bouncing around until we want to get the game to stop which could either be a clock or just a lever and we stop it the hopper minecart comes to the end puts all of the flowers in there and uh, we need to sort of judge how often we we've got a good judge here on how often certain uh, flowers come up now we probably need to have a bigger sample size to really work out this point system I've got a feeling I've got I got a feeling I've got a feeling that um, it's actually gonna be pretty even across the board I always seem to think I don't know how true this is but I always seem to think that red flowers are less common than yellow flowers but that might be wrong so let's turn that on we're on two separate levers for the moment and we shall bone meal this like crazy I shall just keep spamming it and I'm hoping once we get walls up it'll be more consistent because obviously some of the flowers at the moment are going over the edges but the hopper minecart should be picking a lot of these up dumping them in the chest we should be able to see exactly what is more common and what is more rarer now tall grass isn't picked up tall grass is just a dud uh, you know, the only way that you can pick up tall grass is with shears. But the bone meal is breaking the flowers for us nicely. You can actually make this into a survival farm as well. I'll pick up these straggler ones. And I shall dump these in here. I think it's got everything, so we should turn that lever off. It'll dump everything that we have into this chest. Oh, you're going to have to turn off. You're driving me nuts. <laughs> everything we have in here. Now... Let's help it along a little bit to speed things up. What do we have? We have mostly... I forgot about wheat seeds, actually. Mostly wheat seeds. So what if we have negative one point for wheat seeds? And then... The rarest one seems to be red flowers. And that's what I sort of suspected. Well, what about... Do you reckon if we do negative two points per wheat seed and one point for any flower? So how many did we get here? We had 31 plus 28 is 59 plus 54 is 113, I think. And then 130, approximately. <laughs> I'm, I'm on camera here. I'm under pressure. 113 plus 34 is 147. 147. Let's say 147. Minus 109. We come away with like 30 points. That's pretty good, approximately. You guys can do the maths in the comment section if you want to be more accurate. But to me, that sounds like a pretty good way of doing it. I sort of like that. Yeah, I like that idea. So, we've got some changes up or, or some uh, modifications we can make to make it uh, more reliable. And one is by putting a wall around here. I probably... In fact, we probably don't want this block visible either because that's going to be an air block at some points. So, we probably want to have it like that and then that's our area so our area becomes a four by five area that's pretty good because you pretty much have a good chance of bone milling the whole area then if you have it too big you're sort of wasting space a little bit i love the look of those blocks though and uh what if we put what do these look like on top i bet they look right they look as nice as what i thought in my head nor do they That looks better. Yeah, I like I like those two blocks together. So I'll have this around here, some nice detail of a wall. Maybe we can have some water flowing down the back, make it look like a um, a waterfall. Wow, we're out of time. <laughs> I know I've done some off-camera stuff. Um, let's try and just hook this up to this clock really quickly, that lever. Um, 
I'm sorry about the noise. We shall just run this down here into here just roughly for the moment uh, but I need to invert the signal like that so it should stop oh hmm okay we need a we need a block that gets pushed forward and covers that when we want it to so we could have a piston sticky piston and a block there's plenty of ways you can do it but we're going to do it like this so that's now stopped and then we can start it perfect wonderful the mine cart starts going at the same time as the ground and then we flick the lever again the ground should stop and the mine cart stops as well Beautiful. Okay, so Redstone's pretty much set up. We can hide that really easily. Next episode, we'll be dressing this up and doing some more testing. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode.